How are you doing, Felix? Hello, how are you? Yeah, really good, thanks. We've both got the grey look. I feel like I feel like a prisoner today wearing this jumper. No, it's a nice, have... nice shirt, man. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really look. enjoyed... Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, the show. I mean, I've only seen literally one episode and I can't wait to see uh, the second. But I'm just wondering, uh, for those who are coming into this fresh, um, if you could tell me a little bit about your character and how he fits into this story. Oh, so Antoine, the, the character I'm playing, is, a, is a, a, he's living a comfortable, normal life in Paris. He has a wife. He's trying to have a baby with her. Um, he, he has a good job, a stable job. Uh, as, an, as an engineer, and but we feel in him that he something is not going well. Uh, maybe something like guilt, as you as you will discover in the in the rest of the show, and and then uh, out of obsession, he goes to Syria. He's an obsessed character. Um, I was wondering, because uh, obviously it's such a, like I said, I've only seen one episode, but I'm desperate to see the next one. It's got a great, it's got like a real page turner. You know, you always, I want to find out what happens next. Um, did you get all of the scripts in one or did you get them yeah. as you were going along? No, no, all the scripts in one. Yeah, all yeah. yeah. So I had like a, a day to, to read uh, everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was, I was like you when you discovered the show. I mean, I was, oh, it's a page turning. Yeah, I was wondering about the research, because obviously when actors uh, take on projects, they want to do research and learn about the world they're inhabiting. But I guess this world that you're inhabiting is very sort of secretive. It's quite closed off. Did you struggle to to find out much about the real inner workings or did you just watch documentaries? Or No, it's, I mean, my character doesn't have to know much about yeah. what happens there because he discovers. So I had to be like quite ignorant of it. But as a, as a civilian, as a, a young person, as me, as Felix, I wanted to, to learn about it. Because when I read the scripts about the, the Kurdish fighters, I wanted to know more about them because I was fascinated by them. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, what they did there is absolutely heroic. So I wanted to know more. So I met some volunteers, some foreign volunteers, and I, uh, and I read a lot about uh, what, what, what happened there. There must be one. Is that one of the great joys of being um, an actor? Is you're constantly learning about different yeah. people and different worlds? Yeah. Yeah, that's. I mean, uh, if you're an actor and you're not curious of other people, uh, you have to quit your job. Mm. Uh, our job is to be curious. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering, so just obviously you're shooting in Morocco. Uh, how is it? Because it looked obviously in the, the on the what we see on the screen, it looks like it was really harsh conditions, quite um, lots of sand, lots of heat. How is it to uh, to shoot um, out there in the in the kind of Moroccan sort of uh, sand dunes and stuff? You know, when you're an actor, uh, yeah. you're constantly protected. So yeah. when you're too warm, someone comes with to you with a with a cup of, with a cup of water uh, everything's okay for actors i, I couldn't complain <laughs> <laughs> how was the uh, how was the food moroccan food is pretty good very good very yeah. very good yeah but your stomach has to be uh, has to be prepared yeah. <laughs> yeah but it was really good yeah, I was wondering about because um, when I was growing up, if I wanted to watch um, TV series that weren't in the English language, they weren't really accessible to me. You kind of if I wanted to watch a French TV show, I had to go to France really to watch it. But now with like streaming, like Stars Play and Netflix and Amazon, it feels like shows like this are, uh, being shown around the world. Is that is it quite nice as an actor now to know that projects you work on have, are entering so many households? I, I mean, the fact that you can have access to to everything is a good thing, obviously. Mm-hmm. And um, the fact that the shows and the movies no have no borders anymore is a good thing. Mm-hmm. So yes, uh, uh, when 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 you know that your show will be seen in a lot of countries, it's always. I mean, it's a good thing. It's a it's a happy thing. I think. And of course, you've you've worked. Um, I just wanted to speak to you about sort of other stuff you've worked on because I mean, you collaborated with Wes Anderson. How was that experience working with with him on that sh- on that film? It's a small part, I have to say. Yeah. Uh, it's a really small part. Uh, we are a lot of French actors in it, 
and uh, not a lot, but we are like five or six French actors and we all have a small part in it. Mm -hmm. but, but I stayed on the shoot for three weeks. So I really had the, the opportunity to see him at work. Ah, he's one of the greatest. So I was totally amazed by, by his way of working, totally obsessed, totally yeah. precise, um, sort of Asperger's, I would yeah. say, you know? Yeah. And like he your, was the, oh, I was gonna say like your character that you've played in No Man's Land, that kind of obsessive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe. And he was, uh, no, it was amazing to see him at work. I was totally fascinated by him. And he's really curious of other people. He's really asking a lot of questions about you. Uh, so he has, he's a good comrade, I would say. Mm. A good, uh, you know, a good uh, partner. Mm. Yeah. And how is it uh, coming into a shoot like that and having a small part uh, and trying to like leave an impact is it do, do you quite like coming in for just a short period of time and doing small jobs like that or do you like like with no man's land being the lead character in most scenes which do you which sort of do you prefer as an actor as an actor it's always better to have a, a big part not because of narcissism but because of um because um you can explore mm. more things you know so it's more stimulating but uh, it's really hard to do a small part because you're not uh, in the center and uh, 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 usually the crew knows each other since some weeks and you arrive only for three, four, five, six, seven days and you have to do your, to, to try to exist. So it's difficult, but um, yeah, I prefer to be, <laughs> to, to be Antoine in the, in the men's land, of course, but um, me, I don't care about the importance of the role. I mean, if the role uh, moves me in a way, I go. Yeah. And uh, am I right in thinking you're working with, with Melanie again, or you've worked with her again in another movie? Is that right? I'm shooting with her now. Oh, right now. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how's, that must be quite good to, to, to have that pre-established relationship going in into this new project. That's funny, but for us, we are friends since, uh, oh. since uh, before the show. So it was, it, it was great to work with her. Obviously, I always find her find that she was one of the best French actresses, mm. and um, and uh, but uh, it's funny for the crew on the shoot we are doing now because they they've all watched it uh, watch um, No Man's Land, so it's funny for them. They they don't know what we're shooting. Yeah. They don't know if she's Cameron or, she, or, or but you didn't you only see the saw the, the first episode, so you don't know what I'm talking about. But not, it, not yet. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, so so, um, so they are quite uh, amused by this. Mm. She's a wonderful actress, though, isn't she? I mean, it must be it must be so great when you have to work with people as as talented. It's easy. As you. Yeah. We, with her, it's easy. Everything is is easy. It's uh, so nice. Yeah. And obviously, she she's made her mark really, and and in, in, all around the world, she's been making films in in Hollywood and places. You know, do you have much ambitions as well to 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 travel the world with your work? Yeah, I have the ambition to travel because I like traveling. But uh, I mean, uh, I'm not obsessed with uh, Hollywood or American movies. But if it happens, it's funny. But I do movies here in France, and I'm happy with this. I have uh, I do the movies I want to do. Uh, um, so it's okay for me, but it's true that this last year I did a, a movie with Jesse Eisenberg, and then I did a small part in the Wes Anderson movie, and then this show. Though, so it's true that it's more international. So it's mm -hmm. funny because you you have the okay the opportunity to meet other people, to meet other culture cultures. So that's always a good thing. But uh, I don't have the ambition, the particular yeah. ambition to become an American actor. I mean, they don't need me. Uh, <laughs> So. so I was wondering about, um, I'm interested just to know about the, from, from a French actor in the industry, how, how is the French film industry uh, this, off the back of this year, obviously in, in the UK, it's, it's been like a big pause on, on, on movie making and lots of cinemas yeah. are closing. How, how, how is it in France from a, in, in the art, in, in, in the entertainment industry? Do, do you, are you worried about the future at all? Of course I'm worried about the future. I'm uh, more worried for the independent movies mm. it's going to be difficult for them um, it's going to be very difficult for them and um, so we have the the chance in france that even if there is the lock the lockdown we can keep shooting continue shooting so that's okay but uh, it will be hard 
uh, for the movies to exist in the theaters now because mm-hmm. we we don't know if people uh, will uh, will go to theaters we don't know all of this so now let's hope that uh, that cinema is not dead huh? yeah. mm. so my final question is just wondering about whether we might see any more no man's land in the future is, is it is do you think it's uh, has there been any conversations maybe about exploring yeah. this character more yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they are, they're, 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 they're thinking about a season two. Yeah. Wow, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. All right, well, thank you so much today, Felix. And best thank of luck you. with all of your projects. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.